southern tier. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but we have been in the midst of a persistent heat wave and are currently experiencing the worst drought since 1943. Our wineries and farms are in crisis. Our wells are running dry. Our cows are not producing milk. Huge old trees are dropping limbs. Cornell is trucking water from Cayuga Lake to water its plantings. My apple tree dropped all its baby apples. We are really feeling the effects of climate change this year, and it seems to be happening more and more every year. My name is Lisa Marshall. I work for Mothers Out Front, an organization of mothers and allies demanding a swift, complete, and just transition off of fossil fuels. I live in Horseheads, New York, less than three miles from the compressor site. Seven years ago, after 21 years of moving around with the United States Navy, my husband Jeff and I settled here with our three children in our dream home, an 1840s farmhouse with woods and pond and a beautiful view over the valley. Every day we marvel at the local wildlife, herons, kingfishers, wood ducks, hooded mergansers that visit our pond, bears and foxes that inhabit our woods, eagles and hawks soar above. Our children played outside all day long. It was our American dream come true. These past few months, I've spent getting to know my neighbors up the road who live even closer to the compressor site than I do. I wish you could get to know them, Chris Hogan, as well as I have. Many of them are here tonight, but many others could not come. It was too far away. They had to work or they're ill. Several of them told me to let you know that they would have been here if it had been scheduled in our own town instead of a half an hour drive away. Mrs. Denner, my... site is 86 years old and just got out of the hospital. Alyssa and Terry Sepulak have seven kids. They can see the compressor site from their backyard. Their kids have asthma. They work all the time. They're not well off. Um, there's a, a cardiac nurse at Guthrie. She has to be within 30 minutes because she's on call tonight. She can't be here because she can't let people down. But she wants you to know that she can't, that she would be here if she could. Mr. Hogan, you and I have a lot in common. We're about the same age. We both went to small liberal arts schools. We both have master's degrees in environmental fields. We both chose work that would serve the public and protect the environment. I'm sure you are equally devoted to your beautiful family as I am to mine. I bet when you went to school, you wanted more than anything to protect this beautiful state and the people in it. You hardly imagined that in your future work, you would be overseeing a project such as Dominion New Market that you knew would be responsible for poisoning hundreds of people and accelerating climate change. The droughts and floods and storms get bigger and worse. In 30 years, when our kids, your kids and my kids, are the age that we are now, what kind of planet will they be living on? Your agency is in a position of power. On behalf of all of our kids, will you do the right thing, or will you be a cog in the bureaucratic machine and just do the minimum required? Please have the moral, moral courage to be a principled leader and a protector.